Hello and welcome. Today is a September 20th, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, so after yesterday's reading, you know, let's go ahead and figure out what is currently going on with the divine and masculine energy, and what is currently going on with the divine feminine's energy. What is currently going on with the Divine Masculine's energy? And what is currently going on with the Divine Feminine's energy? And this reading, you know, will extend for the course of between today and throughout the weekend, okay? What energies can I expect from our Divine Masculine's? from today through Sunday, okay? And what energies can we expect coming from our Divine Feminines from today until Sunday? Divine Masculines, we have patience, okay? This is actually really beautiful because in the past, I really feel like Divine Masculines were not patient, but now they are practicing patience. And here we have a number 16, which reduces to a 7, and 7 is a spiritual number, okay? I feel like this Masculine is learning patience in order to defend themselves, to work up, to prove themselves to their Divine Feminines before they can take action and move forward towards their divine counterpart okay that is what I'm seeing so far also patience you know and uh, I guess making choices and decisions that that is um, better suited for, for their uh, you know for their well-being you know that is what I'm feeling this masculine you know is taking a time out before they approach their feminine, okay? That is what I'm feeling. Divine feminines. Also, I see here, you know, a clock that is sitting on this angel, okay? They know that time is ticking also. So, that's also, you know, another thing that I'm seeing here. For Divine Feminines, oh my goodness, we have here Thinking Man, and this is a number 46. So, Divine Feminines, you're also, you're thinking about your masculine. This is really beautiful, guys, you know. Divine Feminines, I feel like you're, you're at this completion. You have clarity on your situation, and, you know, you have been getting this Thinking Man in your energy for, you know, at least once a week, from what I can see, and... You're really thinking about your divine other, okay? Really wondering when is your masculine going to arrive, okay? That is what I'm seeing. Divine masculine is wanting to be patient. I feel like they're trying to wait for the right time in order to approach their divine feminine. Divine feminines, I feel like intuitively you are feeling this coming from your divine masculine, okay? That is what I'm feeling so far. So, what is the underlying energy 
when it comes to this divine masculine's patience and the thinking man for the divine feminine what is the underlying energy please spirit when it comes to patience for the divine masculines and the thinking man for the divine feminine communication is key guys i kid you not this masculine is being patient okay waiting for the right time to communicate because they know that this communication is very pivotal and their steps forward towards their divine feminine guys okay that is what i'm seeing so far i see like a lot of blue color here like learning to open up their throat chakra okay and they know that time is of essence you know and with this patience they're trying to think about what is the best way to communicate to their divine counterpart without communicating quickly, okay? They're thinking about it. That's what I'm seeing. And, you know, Divine Feminines, you're also thinking about your Divine Masculine, trying to see clarity, you know, and, and this communication, or, you know, perhaps just really thinking about your Divine Masculine, knowing that your Masculine is ready to reach out and communicate to you, okay? And here we have Meditate and Contemplate, New Moon and Pisces. Okay, we just had the full moon in Pisces. Guys, this full moon that we just had was very powerful, very watery, very emotional. Things are coming up to the surface. And what I'm feeling is that this is allowing divine feminines to meditate and contemplate on their masculine. You know, a lot of thinking going on on the divine feminine side. Thinking, thinking, okay, meditation thinking of your divine masculine divine masculine is being patient with their communication they're getting ready and primed up to communicate okay that is what i'm seeing so let's see hmm what is this divine masculine okay wanting to communicate and why are they being patient what what information is this masculine wanting to communicate to their divine feminine and why is this masculine being patient okay let's get a little bit more information here on this divine masculine Why is communication here for divine masculines? And why is patience here, please, spirit? We have two of swords, okay? They're at a crossroads or an indecision. Using their intuition, okay? Thinking before, you know, they make a choice. That is what I'm seeing. And that choice okay is a love offer guys okay this is getting hot and heavy here <laughs> this masculine is really thinking about their divine feminine okay they don't want to come rushing in like they have in the past they're really taking their time to think about it okay think about what is the best way to communicate to their divine feminine about how they feel okay what is it that they want you know, what are their true intentions? They're really thinking about this communication. Oh my God. And here we have the Ace of Cups, guys, okay? This masculine is thinking about offering their feminine a new beginning in love. The love is overflowing. You know, this time, this masculine really wants to make things right, okay? That is what I'm feeling like. Guys, your masculine is so emotional right now. They they don't want to mess this up, okay? That is why they're taking, you know, a brief pause before reaching out to communicate. That is what I'm feeling so far. And also, they want to, you know, put down their burden. 
I feel like this masculine could be a little bit of a distance from you. You know, they could be traveling towards you, but I really feel like, you know, they've been on that long journey, okay? And they're ready to return back home to their divine feminine, guys, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So, you know, they're, they're really working on their stability, being rooted and grounded so that they can travel back towards you, okay? That is why, you know, they're being very patient. And as they are traveling, as they are thinking about their feminine, as they slowly come closer to their feminine, okay? They're, they're releasing all of, you know, everything that is weighing them down so that they can be true with themselves and with their divine feminines and making that offer and I see that they are moving forward. They're going to take action, guys, okay? They're finding that balance to move forward towards their feminine, okay? Yes, because they have seen the light. Divine Feminines, you are the guiding light for your Divine Masculine. This Masculine has gained the strength and courage and willpower to move forward, you know, with, um, with a sense of innocence, okay? They, they're coming in with clarity now, okay? That is what I'm seeing. They're coming for their Divine Feminine, who has been patiently waiting for their Masculine, you know? What I'm seeing here is that this Feminine has been independent, working on themselves, okay? And this Masculine wants to come and claim their Princess, okay? Or Prince, whatever you want to... You know whatever you are so that's really beautiful guys you know ah here we have eight of wands there's gonna be communication coming through okay that is why the communication is key you know this communication is very pivotal for this divine masculine when they return back to their feminine if you guys are in union whatever this communication is it is going to be clear it's going to be filled with honesty okay that is what i'm seeing and they know that it is time to to be clear okay and come with their truth that is what i'm feeling this masculine is wanting to express their truth about their feelings Guys, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. And next we have here Nine of Swords. They can't sleep, guys. They're having restless and sleepless nights, okay? Thinking about this communication. That is why patience is necessary. You know, they're wondering, like, what is the best thing to say to their feminine? How am I going to say this? What am I going to say? You know, I want to let my feminine know that I love them, okay? I, I just feel like all of these deep, you know, hidden emotions coming from this masculine is coming up to the surface from what I can feel. And, you know, this masculine really wants to communicate, you know, how they truly feel and what, you know, what is going on in their mind to their feminine. They want to release that burden, guys. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And finally, we have the hermit, okay? You know, I feel that this masculine may go into hermit mode this weekend, okay? This communication is causing your masculine to reflect on how they've been communicating with their feminines in the past. They really want to express themselves in the correct way, okay? And so they are taking their time to figure out what is the best way to communicate honestly and effectively, okay, towards their feminine, okay? That is what I'm feeling, and that's really beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, Divine Feminines, why, why is this thinking man here, okay? And why do you have to meditate and contemplate in your energy? Because I see that Divine Feminines this weekend, you are going to be thinking a lot about your masculine. Your masculine is thinking about you, and you are thinking about your masculine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. But you you have some clarity, okay? And I feel like this is through your intuition, because Pisces are very intuitive, you know, people, okay? And here we have the crystal with this thinking man. So I really feel like Divine Five Minds, you're going to come with some sort of uh, conclusion through your intuition this weekend. And you might be receiving telepathic communication 
coming from your masculine if you're not in communication with your masculine but commu uh, communication is very much on your divine masculine's mind this weekend okay we have here the world okay divine feminines you want to end a cycle so you can have a new cycle with your masculine, okay? That is what you're thinking about. You are ready for this new beginning. Intuitively, you feel like there's some some something new, like a new change that is coming towards you, okay? That is what I'm seeing so far. And, you know, Divine Masculines, you know, they're in the Two of Swords, you know, really blocking their heart, but using their intuition, you know, about, like, making a decision or choice and moving forward towards their feminine. And feminines, you want this new start, okay? Both you guys are, are reflecting each other, but in very different ways. And again, Divine Feminines, you're thinking about this Five of Cups energy. So not only that you want to end, you know, whatever cycle that you've been in with your masculine, you also are reflecting on your masculine. You are still holding space in your heart for this divine other, okay? Because the two cups are standing and the three cups are spilt over. You're, you know, you're trying to remove your focus away from third-party situations, but really only focusing on the cups that are standing. You are still thinking about your masculine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. Also, we have here the magician. You want to manifest, you know, your masculine back into your life. You know, I really feel like, you know, intuitively, you're feeling this. So, like, as Divine Feminines are really manifesting, okay, this new beginning with their masculine, Divine Masculines are, are actually, you know, getting ready to reach out and communicate to their Feminines, guys. And here we have Four of Cups. Divine Feminines, you have been holding on to that one cup, waiting on your Divine Masculine to stop looking at the third party situations so that they can look up and, you know, and receive this love that you've had for them this whole time. Divine Masculines, okay, they were keeping, you know, uh, you know, their thoughts, their emotions to themselves. But I really feel like this Masculine is ready, okay, or, or getting ready to express that to their Feminines because they have been holding their emotions back you know, from their feminine, I, I had seen that they wanted to give their love, okay, they're overflowing with emotions towards their feminine, guys, okay, they have yet to express that to you, that is why I'm seeing what is coming to this feminine, and also, we have your ten of cups, guys, again, you guys are marrying each other, you want, you know, to be, you know, emotionally fulfilled and happy with this sense of togetherness with your divine masculine. And if you guys have kids, you want, you want a happy family, okay? You want to spend time with your masculine and, you know, you're just, you're ready, divine feminines. That's what I'm feeling. That is why you're meditating, contemplating about all of this. And I feel like you're manifesting because I see that, you know, there is a new beginning. There's a fresh new start, you know, coming for this feminine. That is what I'm saying. That's why you're really thinking you want a brand new start. You're you're hoping that your masculine is coming. Okay, I feel like energetically, divine feminines, you are calling in on your soulmate. Okay, that is the feeling that I'm getting here. First, we have here the moon. Okay, yes, you're using your intuition. Okay, really in your feminine power. Okay, really thinking deeply about your masculine. You have a, a sense of knowing that intuitively your masculine is coming. That's why you're holding the light up. Okay, you're holding the light up because you feel that your masculine is coming. Okay, because uh, in the masculine side, I see here eight of wands. Okay, there is definitely some communication, but your masculine is really anxious about this communication. Next, we have the Hierophant, okay? And this is the High Priest. Feminines, you know, you may have some fears about, like, you know, this commitment, okay? That you've been wanting from your, your masculine, okay? 
also i feel like you know you are opening up more on your spiritual gifts okay your spirituality learning something new you know while you're being continually ascending in your awakening process okay because we're always learning something new once we learn something you know we always learn something new it, the learning never stops so i really feel like divine feminines you know with the moon card using your intuition going deep within you know bringing up stuff that are hidden deep down inside you know i really feel like you know you are learning more about yourself in this connection okay and i really feel like you're just thinking when are you going to have like this divine partnership okay divine masculines are really stressed out right now Okay, they're thinking about you, but they're not sure like how to offer this or how to really communicate this to you. Okay, because I really feel like divine feminines, you just have that spiritual gift. Okay, that sense of intuition, that deep inner knowing. Okay, about like energetically, you know, you're feeling your masculine. Okay, that is what I'm feeling. And then finally, we have here page of pentacles. <laughs> I see that either you or your masculine will be receiving some small offer, okay? You know, and I really feel like this is you. I feel like, you know, you... You want to offer something to your masculine, but it's a really small level. It's not a whole lot. You probably may have reached out, okay, and communicated to your masculine, or vice versa. Take it how it resonates, okay? Or your masculine communicated to you in a very small way. And that is causing this masculine to really think deep, deep within, okay? Because it's really stressing them out. It's really hitting them to the core about this communication, they're being patient because they, they need to heal. That is the feeling I'm getting. I feel like this masculine needs time out to really heal themselves. Okay. Feminines, you're very intuitive. I feel like, you know, you're almost psychic. You know, when it comes to your masculine. That's the feeling that I'm getting. It's like you know. So that's very interesting energy. So I'm picking up here, you know, for this collective. So with that being said, how is this masculine currently feeling about their feminine? Okay. How is this masculine currently feeling about their feminine? How are they feeling about their feminine? We have seven of swords, okay? And in this depiction, I really feel like this masculine is really thinking about having a dinner, okay, for conversation. So, like I said, you know, this masculine is practicing patience. They're trying to figure out what is the best way to communicate effectively to their feminine. I really feel like this masculine is really thinking about maybe communicating with their feminine over like a dinner, okay or taking you out for a meal or having a conversation you know um you know maybe with the drinks or or um or something guys you know that's what i'm feeling okay and here we have knight of swords okay this masculine wants to communicate quickly, okay? So definitely, communication is on the mind of this masculine. Some masculines may communicate with their feminines this weekend, while some, okay, they're taking the time, you know, to communicate to you. Because I feel like with this communication, they don't want to mess it up. They don't want to come off short, okay? And some may, you know, some may come off as a little immature, you know, a little quick, you know, with their communication because they don't know how to express themselves. This is something new. They're, you know, like expressing their emotions 
is really difficult for this masculine. That is what I'm feeling, okay? That's why it's stressing them out, guys, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Oh, wow. And here we have, I want to say it's the world. Yes. This is the world. They could be studying this weekend. This world card is a little different. Uh, this masculine is in the library doing some research, trying to figure out, like, what is the best way to make up to my feminine, okay? This masculine is really putting in the work to make things right, okay? Their communication, they don't want to come off, you know, in a certain way like they have in the past. They know that, you know, whatever communication that they want to offer you is really sincere, okay, really genuine. They want to come in with facts, okay? They don't want to come in with, uh, you know, like lies and deceit. That is what I'm feeling, okay, guys? Like, this is really beautiful energy. And finally, we have here the Emperor. This masculine, you know, really wants to take control of the situation. Like, guys, this masculine wants to come and correct. That is the feeling that I'm getting, you know? They know, like, what has happened in the past. This communication is really important to them. They want to come off with their truth, okay? They want to come in as a genuine person. That, you know, like, there's no bullshit in, in this communication with this masculine. And coming in with their emotions and, and the whole mix of their truth... Oh my gosh, it's overwhelming. That's why, you know, they're in this Nine of Swords energy. That's what I'm feeling. And they're really thinking about, overthinking maybe, about like this communication. That is what I'm seeing, guys, okay? So, what is this? This is Ten of Wands. Yes, Ten of Wands. They want to put down the burdens, okay? They want to put down the burdens of entertaining themselves with third-party situations, you know, trying to be, you know, um, a provider, you know, for, for the whole, you know, group of people that's behind them. You know, they're all looking intently at this masculine because this masculine, you know, everything, you know, is laying on this masculine's energy, okay? Okay, everyone is wondering, like, is this masculine, what, what is this masculine going to do? Okay, that is what I'm feeling. This masculine is very cool, calm, and collected. Okay, they're like, all y'all karmics can watch. But let me, let me pull out this, my, my ace. Okay, let me pull out my ace card. Okay, and it might blow everyone away, okay, because they probably didn't realize that this masculine had a plan, okay, for something bigger and better. That is the feeling that I'm getting, guys. This masculine wants to lay down their burdens, okay. That is why I feel like this communication is really important, okay. They're going to express something to you about what's been going on in their situation, okay? Whether, like, people were codependent on them or if they were codependent on other people. But I feel like this masculine has an exit plan or a strategy. They're, they're trying to get their abundance so they can bounce, okay, and leave this crowd of people. That is, that is what I'm feeling. Also, oh my God, we have here the lovers, <laughs> This masculine is really thinking about their divine feminine. After this masculine lays down their burden, okay, and plays with the karmic, okay, puts up, you know, a facade, letting them watch them, you know, do whatever that they're doing. These karmics have no idea that this masculine is wanting, they have other plans. <laughs> that is what I'm feeling. And this masculine wants to rendezvous with their divine feminine. That is what I'm seeing. Like, ooh la la, you know, they want to bend you over backwards and, you know, lift your leg up and really sex you up. That's what I'm feeling. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and finally, we have here, huh? This is the Knight of Wands. 
this masculine is coming guys okay I really see that there is movement forward with this masculine okay some may come this weekend some may co come in the coming weeks okay this energy is gaining momentum that is the feeling that I'm getting okay this masculine has a plan they want to communicate communication might be a little difficult for this masculine but they're coming in with communication okay that is what I'm seeing oh my god this is beautiful all right so divine of feminine how are you currently feeling towards your masculine? Okay. How are you currently feeling towards your masculine? How are you currently feeling towards your masculine? Huh. We have nine of pentacles. <laughs> Divine Feminines, okay, I'm getting a couple different scenarios here, right? So, you are single and you are independent, but you are waiting for your masculine to come, okay, and, you know, taste those girls, you know what I mean? <laughs> but not only that, some of you Divine Feminines are with somebody, okay, and that person okay is dead as a doornail you know like they have no idea that your masculine is returning that's what i'm feeling oh my god to my friends y'all are naughty look at that you know y'all trying to have your cake and eat it too that's what i'm saying but you know i really feel like feminines you are waiting for your masculine for their return because they excite you you have been waiting for this look at that like this masculine knows how to treat you to touch you and do you up that is what i'm feeling oh my gosh and next we have here four of swords so you know you're all in your head about like you know the decisions that your masculine has made and you know you really want to you know like heal from that situation okay leave the past behind and move forward that is the feeling that i'm getting so feminines you have been thinking so much about your masculine look we have here thinking man okay meditate and contemplate and here we have four swords thinking about your masculine okay really you you want them back okay even if you've moved on and have like a karmic or a soulmate situation you know that that isn't really you know doing it for you you know your masculine does and you're waiting for your masculine to return that's what i'm seeing oh my gosh look at this we have your six of cups exactly thinking thinking about your masculine reminiscing on the past look at all of the good times that you guys have shared with each other like you, you divine masculine is on your mind so much this weekend divine feminines i'm really feeling it you are thinking about them and they are thinking about you this masculine is primed up okay and almost ready or ready to communicate okay i definitely see it all of this is about communication coming from the divine masculine side it's their strategy okay it's their you know you know like uh you know um accepting their emotions and then moving forward okay this masculine is wanting to do this okay that is what i'm seeing the divine feminine you're you're thinking about it you're feeling it you just know that something is coming okay that's what i'm feeling and here we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, okay? You know that this masculine, it's been a slow time coming, but you feel that they are coming and they're on their way, okay? That is what I'm feeling so far for this Divine Feminine. So, Feminines, how are you feeling towards your masculine? Uh-huh. We have death, okay? Like, I feel like, you know, you're going through a transformation. You want to end everything that has happened in the past, and you want a new beginning with your masculine, okay? You're tired of being alone, okay? Not even having anything intimate, you know, that is satisfying to your fleshy desires, but also, you know, you're very spiritual, you know? 
I really feel like this feminine really wants, you know, a change, okay? They're tired of being with, you know, a situation of either being alone or with someone that that ran its course, okay? And I feel like it's for those divine feminines who are still married, okay, to another person or, you know, waiting on your masculine to make up their mind. Or perhaps this is you, divine feminines. I feel like, you know, you, you really want your masculine. Because why? Look at this. I feel like for this divine feminine, you have another person, okay, in your situation. You could be married, okay? That is what I'm feeling. You know, you're, you're, you're trying to have your cake and eat it too. You know, but feminines, okay? You really need to get out of your karmic situation if this is you, okay? Because you cannot have union, you know, if, if you're still married or stuck in, in a karmic situation. Do you see? Like, I feel like you, you're going to change and you're going to transform if you're with somebody that isn't really, you know, giving it to you in that way like your Divine Masculine does. It's time for you to change, okay? I really feel that coming uh, on this Divine Feminine side. Also, we have here Eight of Cups. Divine Feminines, you're walking away from a situation that is no longer fulfilling you, okay? I really feel like this is for Feminines that have a side piece. <laughs> Feminines, if you have a side piece or if you're married, it's time to move on because your masculine is coming, okay? Like, get with the program. You can't, you know, like I said, it's not all about divine masculines. Yes, they have karmic situations, but feminines, you too also have a karmic land around in the bushes somewhere, you know? Look at that. You want to be with your masculine. That is what I'm seeing, okay? Yes, and, you know, that's your karmic partner that found you out. I feel like this weekend, if you're going to rendezvous with your masculine, your, your, your spouse or the person, you know, your karmic or, or your soulmate partner that you've been, you know, shacking up with while your masculine figures themselves out, they're going to find out about this connection. That is what I'm feeling, okay? Wow. And then finally... Huh. We have here, this is the High Priestess. You intuitively know what the heck is going on. That's what I'm, uh, I'm feeling. You are the thinking man, okay? Meditate and contemplate. We had the Four of Swords. We also have here the Moon card, keeping secrets, okay? You, you kind of feel like, oh, my masculine is coming back. Is this it? You know, you have that feeling, you know, because I feel like you are spiritually awakened to what, what's to come. That is the feeling. And I feel like you are either going to give an offer or your masculine is going to be uh, giving you an offer this weekend. Okay. And you're going to have to make a decision, Divine Feminines. Okay, because you have to change. You have to put an end to a situation of the past because I see that you're going to be walking away from a situation and you might get caught. So if you're married or if you have like um, something to entertain yourself with, because guys, karma goes both ways, okay? I, mean, I know in yesterday's reading, it was all about divine masculines and their karmic situations, but feminines. Some of y'all have a karmic partner or a soulmate that you haven't released. You need to release it. If you really want union with your masculine, you got to do your due diligence, okay? And do your part of the bargain. It's not one-sided, okay? That is what I'm saying. You really want your masculine? You love your masculine? It's time to release everything that's no longer serving you, okay? Because you have this intuition. You know what you need to do. Okay, and you are stepping on that red cape on the floor, that red cloth. Okay, because that what that is what grounds you. That is your stability. Behind that mask, you know what you need to do, and that's what I'm seeing. Oh my God, feminines, y'all are like some. <laughs> y'all are sneaky. That's all I have to say. What in the world? <laughs> And we, we were sitting here talking about all divine masculines, you know, with the karmic situations and how they're all like Casanova-like. Divine feminines, 
I feel like some of y'all are, you know, are even better than your masculine when it comes to hiding secrets. Okay? That is what I'm feeling. Shame on you, Divine Feminine. I see y'all. Oh my God, it's coming through in this reading. Okay, so what is the union energies, okay, between this Divine Couple? So what can we expect for the union energies of this Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine? Okay, what are the union energies between this Divine Masculine and this Divine Feminine couple? What are the union energies, please? We have the writer. What did I say? Communication. It is coming through, guys. Like some, some of y'all are going to have communication this weekend. Okay, but it's coming throughout this month. Okay, within the next month, whatever communication is coming, and it is fast communication. This is about wishes being fulfilled. Okay, either you or your masculine is going to express that you or my wish can uh, wish come true. You're everything that I ever dreamed of. You're all that I ever wanted. That kind of a thing. Okay. And here we have the mask, okay? I feel like there are going to be some truths that are going to be revealed, okay? If your masculine, okay, has been holding secrets, it's time for them to communicate and release that mask, okay? I feel like your masculine is wanting to express their truth, whatever that they have hidden, and it's going to come all out, guys, okay? That is what I'm feeling. This masculine has received enlightenment to do so. If they want a fresh new beginning or a fresh new start, this masculine knows that they have to come out with their truth in order to find real stability. No more back and forth. This masculine wants to offer you a commitment. Okay? That is what I'm seeing. That's, that's what I'm seeing, guys. You know? Coming from uh, the Divine Feminine side. Also, we have here the birds. Again, communication. This could be through social media. This could be through friends, family, people in the workplace, you know, like talking about like, you know, what are the next steps in order to rebuild this connection. That's what I'm feeling. This masculine or feminine is willing to put in the work, okay, to defend this connection. That is what I'm feeling. I feel like it's time, you know? So, like, this could be on either uh, part, you know, feminine or masculine side. I really feel like there's going to be a lot of, like, uh, messages going through back and forth over this weekend between you and your masculine, okay? About, like, you know, secrets, okay? About truths. Like, there's going to be a lot of clarity that's coming through. I feel like from the masculine side, but feminine, I feel like, you know, it is time for you to reveal some of your truths too. It's going to be heart-to-heart -heart conversations. If you really want a strong, stable, uh, stable foundation for a brand new beginning in this dynamic, truths are going to be laid out on the table, okay? That is the way where you feel both secure okay in this relationship and i see that is happening this is beautiful guys wow and finally oh look at this we have here the dog there's going to be loyalty there is going to be devotion this is like companionship oh my gosh guys and here we have the ten of cups you guys are going to be emotionally fulfilled in this connection once you guys you know tell your truths about what has happened you guys are going to kiss and make up, guys. I kid you not. This is a beautiful new start that I'm feeling. Like, you know, it might not come on strong, but I feel like there's going to be back and forth communication between you and your masculine, okay? And then you're going to feel like a sense of loyalty, of devotion, of companionship. Like, you know, this is real feelings, okay? Real emotions that I'm feeling, okay? And you guys are going to fill each other's cups and you're going to feel really good again, okay? Both of you guys are wishing for this. You're hoping for this coming together. Once everything is all laid out, like all the dirty laundry has been laid out, that is when this foundation is built on, on something solid, guys. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, 
Let me see what else. Let me pull some Lover's Oracle and see what does this masculine would like to communicate to their feminine at this time, okay? What does this masculine want to communicate to their feminine at this time? What is it that this masculine would like to communicate to their feminine at this time? Oh my god, guys, I saw something, huh? <sighs> uh, <laughs> okay. Here we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. That is so beautiful. Look at this. Your masculine wants sexual union with their feminine, guys. Guys, once your masculine comes out with the truth, and you too, Divine Feminines, once you guys, you know, air your dirty laundry and tell each other what's been going on and bear your, your soul and be expressive of each other's emotions, oh my god, it is on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. And we have your surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Exactly. This is a time for surrender, guys. I cannot make this stuff up, okay? Everyone needs to release their past. Clear out your dirty you know, laundry, your baggage, whatever the case may be. And this is on both sides. If you want union, you have to clear it away. And, you know, once you do that, that's when you build a solid foundation. Okay. This is a pivotal time for twins to wrap up their karmic baggage. Okay. So they can have a brand new start with their divine counterpart. Okay. So surrender. Okay. That is what I'm seeing. That is when new energies come through and new beginnings. And finally, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Oh my God. Look at that. And there's a bunch of butterflies here. This feminine needs to transform. Okay. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And also, this is, you know, coming from their divine masculine. You know, this divine masculine knows deep down in their heart. They already know the answer. And they're being called to feel what they do you know, is right. What is right for, for them to approach their feminine in this connection. And that's really beautiful. Oh my God. So feminines, what is it that you would like to communicate to your masculine? Okay. What is it that you would like to communicate to your divine masculine? What is it that you would like to communicate to your divine masculine? What is it that you like to communicate to your divine masculine? Alright, one or two more cards, please, Spirit. What is it that this feminine would like to communicate to their divine masculine, please? Oh my god. <laughs> There's an old man chasing a ball down the street. <laughs> Is that all you have? Hmm. Okay. Well, we have one for Divine Feminines to their masculine. Oh, we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Exactly. I really feel like, you know, once this masculine comes in with their truth, Divine Feminines are, are open to play and be more playful. And I can see this, you know, both of you guys are going to have like this you know, conversation over dinner or, you know, just texting over the phone. And then when you guys meet up, you know, you guys are going to be playful and then it's going to lead to a sexual union, right? You know, because both of you guys have surrendered <laughs> to, you know, whatever that happened in the past. 
and you guys are going to be feeling each other guys okay this is such a beautiful coming together um that i'm seeing and like i said not all couples you know divine couples are going to be in communication but it's very strong okay that is what i'm seeing so like these energies could last you know around this time but it's definitely coming okay so i really hope you enjoyed today's reading thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and your subscribes and guys i'm almost at 3000 subscribers and so if you're new to my channel please you know subscribe to my channel and like this video and when I reach 3,000 subscribers I will pick one lucky uh, you know subscriber to get a free reading so I'm really excited for that milestone and you know thank you all you know for your patronage uh, your donations to my channel you know your lovely gifts and, and just everything in your love and everything guys you guys are so amazing and I'm really blessed to be you know doing these daily messages here for you and if you would like to book a personal reading you can reach me on my website it is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on IG Scorpio Moon Intuition I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you later Bye-bye.